In this animation, we'll see the remarkable way our DNA is tightly packed up so that six feet of this long molecule fits into the microscopic nucleus of every cell. The process starts when DNA is wrapped around special protein molecules called histones. The combined loop of DNA and protein is called a nucleosome. Next, the nucleosomes are packaged into a thread. The end result is a fiber known as chromatin. This fiber is then looped and coiled yet again. leading finally to the familiar shapes known as chromosomes, which can be seen in the nucleus of dividing cells. Chromosomes are not always present. They form around the time cells divide when the two copies of the cell's DNA need to be separated. When DNA replicates, its strands are separated by the enzyme helicase. Single-stranded DNA binding proteins keep the strands from reannealing. One DNA strand encodes the leading strand, which forms from its 5' prime to its 3' prime end, using DNA polymerase 3. No problem here but the lagging strand presents problems. It has to form from 5' prime to 3' prime too. It forms in pieces called Okazaki fragments. First, an RNA primase lays down an RNA primer. Then, DNA polymerase 3 lays down new DNA. The process repeats again and again. DNA polymerase 1 replaces the RNA primers with DNA. Finally, DNA ligase links the Okazaki fragments. 